I think Carl doesn't nail it, right? Put in the same thing from logical to emotional. Uh, it, it's more of an engineering presentation. Everything you said is true. It makes sense, but it does not move us. And how do you make it a marketing presentation? Just set a dream. Easier said than done, I understand. The couple other things, when you were giving examples of when engineers or an individual contributor whose things that they're working on them, their own stuff, and one thing that you could add there and then pause was, I know you're a good lot, lot of examples, but one of them you could add was just measuring their self-review, because that's something that would catch everyone's attention, that's something that everyone does care about, and gives you a good laugh as well. And finally, I thought you were always smiling, I wouldn't say laughing, you are really smiling and energetic up here. But I thought at some point you can actually stay away from it and give longer pauses. And when you when you actually want to take pauses, just don't smile, make a point, and then stop. And I know, for example, Mike does it really well. Uh, how do you kind of balance that versus being you know energetic and smiling all along? Because then it kind of loses the, the seriousness. Maybe. Perhaps other than that, like, like I said, everything's true. And it's very informational and a good perspective. But how do you kind of make it more emotional? Strong. Thank you. I think I told you this before. I love the message of taking Toastmasters outside of Toastmasters because I think what we hear most often is, well, you can do this, so you can be an area governor and a division governor and a district governor. And I think we've been missing that whole take it outside the club. So I, I love that message, and I do think it's newer than what we've heard in the past. The other thing is I would use some more personal stories about what happens outside. So you use, you know, we do evaluations here, we do this, we do this. I would parallel that with, with how you can specifically use that outside. Or even use your story of how you got off your marketing position. <laughs> I remember that story from a while back. So maybe something like that, because of that, you got an opportunity at work that you might not have been able to have earlier. So maybe include something like that. But just the idea of taking you outside to a semester, I don't think we talk about that enough. So I, I really enjoyed that piece. I'm going to piggyback off of what Birgit said. In terms of a big advantage, would also be talking about the long-term vision. I know you talked for an individual contributor about their, their short-term concerns about how they're going to use it. But if you had a story about how this person now, who's a senior manager five years ago, was in their very spot as an individual contributor and how they couldn't even see it until Toastmasters opened up their eyes to it. I think that would be that would be very powerful. I think, you know, something different maybe would even be getting testimonials from people and like reading some of them. Is there any other round of I don't have much to say because I'm a Jennifer Stevenson fan, but <laughs> <laughs> I felt it was pretty heartfelt too. Uh, I felt there was chances to slow down and to stop and pause a few more times. And maybe if you don't want to add stories, because that's quite a bit or a lot to add, maybe you add examples instead. You kept, I think I heard a lot of it, we improve our communication leadership, communication leadership examples of maybe how we get haunted by everyone in the world who says ums and ahs, right? Or how every time we see a stoplight, we think something different besides stop and go. <laughs> red light, green light, and in a different way. So it's something like that that everyone does. Because these are TLI officers who might be first time officers who are just still working the basics. But get a little of those angles in there to uh, appeal to more people. Thank you. Um, you started out your speech saying, "Think what you can do for it. Not think not what you can do for your country." Or the, the, then he said, "Well, in, in case of Toastmaster, it's both." They also ended the same way, but in between there was good coaching, which was great, and take away also take the Toastmaster out of the Toastmaster. That's the takeaway. I'm kind of confused how it started and ended. Whereas this other two takeaway. I'm not sure in my mind I, I really got the whole uh, the way you started and it, the way you ended and it didn't kind of fit together in my I, I just I'm not sure I'm confused. I, I have one bit of feedback that the quote asks not what you could do for your country but you 
<laughs> okay, I can't remember the exact quote, but you, I don't think you got the quote exactly right either. And usually quotes are something you want, you know, memorize word for word, right? especially famous quotes. So I, think, I think you need to get, look, look it up again and memorize it more. Jennifer, one so. The so here is the unnecessary use of so at the beginning of a sentence. And one kind of. 